Welcome back to News 46. Each year, emergency departments across the United States treat about 75 thousand children with concussions. For many patients, concussion-related symptoms resolve within two weeks of injury, but some go on to experience persistent symptoms. Researchers have developed a new clinical score that may help predict which patients are at higher risk for prolonged symptoms. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. Johnny Coburn is back on the ice after being sidelined with a concussion. It was a really bad headache, just really bad. His parents watched him carefully. While his symptoms initially improved, after about a week, the headaches returned. I knew that the severity of the concussion was much greater than uh, that five days or seven days of rest would fix. More than half of these children treated at emergency departments end up with headaches after concussion. Parents usually ask about, well, how long is my son or daughter going to have symptoms? And what's going to go on after that? And what do I have to do? But there's no good way at this moment in time to actually predict those that are going to go on to have persistent symptoms following the emergency department visit. In an editorial, doctors Lynn Babcock and Brad Kurowski from Cincinnati Children's Hospital discuss new research designed to help predict which children are at higher risk for developing persistent symptoms after concussion. Canadian researchers evaluated just over 3,000 patients aged 5 to 18. About 30% ended up with persistent post-concussion symptoms at 28 days. They actually had 46 predictors that they were looking at. After they evaluated those 46 variables, they came up with nine variables that were barely predictive of post-concussive symptoms. I want you to just follow my finger just with your eyes, okay? The clinical variables were used in a 12-point risk score. They included things like age, sex, history of migraines or depression, prior history of concussion and problems with balance. Some of the things have been shown before in smaller studies, but nothing together as a collective summary of symptoms. It's variables that we would normally capture in the emergency department, but now it's compiled into one decision rule. Johnny says he's feeling much better, he doesn't have any more headaches, and is back playing hockey. I'm looking for playing with my team for a few years, playing really good hockey in college and hoping that I get to the NHL. Katherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. Before this new scoring system is adopted for use in clinical practice, further research is needed to validate and confirm the study outcomes. The Board of County Commissioners discussed the Veterans Memorial during their last meeting. Discussion deliberation regarding and a, and a possible action regarding a project uh, to make improvements to the Veterans Memorial at the Chief Tacopa Cemetery located at and obviously that's the address for the Pahrump Town Office, but yeah. it's over by the cemetery. And uh, it's for a, adding a pergola in, uh, over the uh, area with, where everybody seats themselves. Um, so I'm going to make a motion to approve Second. with one, with one uh, little oh, suggestion. Darn it. I'll withdraw my second if you're going to make okay. a suggestion. Okay. Is, uh, I make a motion to approve pending the completion of the zoning review because it is not complete. It has to go through a zoning review. Yes. Then I will second it again. Mr. Chair. And this is all being paid by Home Depot. Yes. I'd like to make one point of clarification. I, and in reviewing the backup, I wasn't able to determine how many pergolas were going to be installed, and it is going to be six. Six. Yes. yes. So just to have that in the record, and so it's it's uh, clarified. Sorry, I could have said that. Okay, right. with that, I have a motion and a second. Uh, looks like Richard Golson, activities coordinator for the Prompt Veterans Memorial. Uh, I'm just here to answer any questions that you had about the project. No, oh, well, thank you, Richard. Appreciate that. I have a vote. I have a motion and a second. Can I call for the vote? Aye. 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 I believe that's five zero. And a local therapy group offers all types of services to those in need. Both owners were also therapists, CPCs. Um, we also have five other therapists that work in our office here. We're a new counseling service, just came to Pahrump. Uh, we offer all kinds of different services, basic skills training, psychosocial rehabilitation, case management. Um, we're hoping to get some other services in the future. We currently do yoga, horse therapy, all kinds of different things in our office. You even have a, a dog that's in training for um, what type of therapy? 
Uh, so it's animal therapy. So that really allows uh, her to target anyone with some anxiety or who has social phobia. Um, she's able to calm them down and um, they're able to make a, build a rapport with the client. That's really helpful, isn't it? Animals seem to get through where um, sometimes people can't. Absolutely. Animals talk another language that sometimes humans just can't reach. So. So tell me a little bit about, because uh, you said you had a full staff here, what types of therapists? Um, we have marriage and family therapists. We have, we're certified professional counselors. That's pretty much it right now. We also have a PhD counselor who is on staff who's been in the field for many years. Uh, he's also a professor at UNLV. He was one of our professors when we went through our graduate program and he came out here to work with us. And not to mention we have mar marriage and family therapists as well and um, also we specialize in trauma um, addictions as well, mm -hmm. substance abuse. Um, we do group therapy. Um, so. That's kind of some of the things we offer right now at this point. So all ages? Uh, actually, my youngest is two, and I go till whenever. whenever. So As old as I can, they want to come in. <laughs> Tell me about the insurance. Um, right now, we take Medicaid. Um, anybody in Pahrump is pretty much covered under Medicaid. We also do like a sliding scale for cash payment. Hopefully, in the future, we're trying to get on other insurance companies to offer more services. Tell me about this uh, puppy that we're seeing here and the shot. What's his name? Her name is Casey. Yep. How old is she? She is nine weeks old. <laughs> what type of dog? She is a Siberian Husky. And the horse therapy, do you guys use the horses here or you go to a location? Um, we have a location that we go to that we partner up with a, a ranch out here. All right. For more information, a phone number, website, Facebook page? Uh, yes, we have Peaceful Minds BHS on Facebook. Um, our website is counselingdmh.com um, and our phone number is 775-209-9213. All right, and I'm told they also have two bilingual therapists there, too. Yeah, that's very, very helpful. All right, we'll have your sports and entertainment when we return.